Good afternoon, guys. Okay, so the video that I mentioned this morning, I wanted to show you guys. This is not a solar generator. <laughs> this is a water purification system. And this is something along the lines that if you live up in East Palestine, Ohio, might be something very worthwhile. Because what we're looking at here is a charcoal filtered reverse osmosis water filter that will take will take vinyl chloride out of water okay this will clean water down to 0. 0.00001 microns all right now i want to give you this this thing is an ida hill product it is a powered product it has an internal battery this can be charged by solar, guys, okay? So this is a good prep in regards to that. Uh, you can hook it up to a battery bank, like those little battery banks that I showed you for jump-starting a car. That's good enough to charge this. You can plug it into the wall. You can plug it into a solar generator. This pulls a whopping 24 watts, okay? So to give you an idea of what you need to charge this is next to nothing. It comes with, this is the intake pipe, okay? And on the end here, if you hear it rattle, that's a charcoal filter, okay? Then you also have the hybrid filter and a reverse osmosis filter. So it's a three-stage filtering system to get everything out. This is extremely simple to put together, okay? Literally, all I have to do is open this up. Let me see, there's the hybrid one. Drop my filter in, push down, turn, it's locked. Drop down, and get in the right spot. Push, and it's locked, okay? The filters in this, uh, will the hybrid filter will last for 350 gallons, the reverse osmosis filter for 650 gallons, uh, the filters are, I think, one's 30 bucks and one's 40 bucks to replace. If you want to compare it, compare it to a Berkey, okay? This will filter seven liters of water at a time, which is to the tune of about three and a half, 3.6 gallons of water, which makes it have the capacity of a Royal Berkey. The deal is it's at a price that's less than a travel Berkey. This thing's 299 bucks, guys, including the two filters, including everything you need, except, of course, power. You got to come up with that some other way yourself. They claim that this will clear tap water, lake water, pond water, urine to make it drinkable water. What we are going to do is go out and get some water from the pond. And we are going to purify the pond water. So let's take a walk outside and go get some water. All right, clear picture. We are outside. Let me grab some. You'll see what we start with. I don't fall in the pond. All right, there is the pond water. So we have an idea what this looks like. Let's take this back in and run it through. All right, so back inside. And so I wanna show you how to set this whole thing up. It's very simple, okay? Here's my power cord. I actually have it setting over here. It's connected to my Delta Mini, the one I just showed you guys this morning, uh, charging it at the moment. It will run as though it's being plugged in off of that. So. No problem. And like I said earlier, pulling 24 watts. No big deal. On the back, you have two hoses. Okay. One is for potable water. That would be the one with the white tip. This is where we're going to get our drinking water from. And I'm going to put this in this nice clear plastic glass. The other one is your wastewater. 
and it's not necessarily wastewater. You could still use it for washing or you know wiping your washing your hands or something like that. It's just not drinkable. At the beginning, because this is the first time running this through, I'm going to get more wastewater than I am on drinking water. So I'm going to use a large gallon mason jar here. I'm going to put this one on the floor so it's out of the way, but that's where the second hose is going. Okay. So I'm going to get that in. Yeah, that's in there. And then this one will go in here and we'll see this go. The intake hose is very long. Okay. So, you know, I wouldn't, if I was doing this outside, I wouldn't have to put this right up next to the pond. I could put it far enough away that it wasn't, uh, you know, risk of falling in, or if I'm getting water out of a rain barrel or something, I've got plenty of hose to reach. It looks like it's probably about 10 feet long. All right. So you go there. This part is real simple. I will turn this to the front of the unit. Can't, not hard here, guys. There's one hole in the front. All right. I'm going to get the threaded end and screw it in. Simple as that. There are, there's a nut, a plastic nut on the end that if you want to really crank it down, you can with a wrench. Okay. I think I got it good and tight there. All right. So then my other end of my hose, the rattlesnake, goes into the bucket of, or the pitcher of pond water. And you can see that's yellow. It's pond water. It's got leaves in it. It's got whatever. It's rainwater, but clay particles and who knows, pray to God, there's not uh, vinyl chloride in it, but simple as this. I'm going to drop that in there, go around, I'm going to turn it on, the wastewater is going to go to the floor, the fresh water is going to come in here, this will take a few minutes, it's not an instant process, so let me do all that, and I'll show you at the end, so you're not watching this for 15 minutes. Okay, so while this thing is doing its thing, I'm going to read you something, because the vinyl chloride is important with what's going on. Uh, you know, because we've got what's going on down in Arizona, there's Oklahoma now, there's Texas, there's South Carolina, and God knows what's going to happen the next day. Now, there's a boatload of different vinyl chlorides, and I'm going to link this below so you guys can read this for yourself, okay? But it's specifically talking about reverse osmosis, because one of y'all asked me about contacting a water purification company, you know, uh, I'm getting rid of vinyl chloride. So let me read this to you so I'm not misleading anybody and you don't think something different. Reverse osmosis can, can remove a wide variety of contaminants from water, including dissolved minerals, bacteria, viruses, and many vinyl chlorides. Several studies have demonstrated that reverse osmosis has the potential to remove vinyl chloride from drinking water. Since vinyl chlorides are a large group of many different chemicals, the effectiveness of reverse osmosis to remove them may vary by compound. Some vinyl chlorides are very effectively removed by reverse osmosis. Some are partially treated by reverse osmosis, while others aren't removed at all. Okay, I want to get that. What they recommend is, in a worse, if you have any concerns whatsoever, to have your water tested. Now, I do not know if there is a home test kit for vinyl chlorides in water or anything like that. Uh, that's something that's definitely worth looking into. If anybody knows of one, please let me know so I can link it below this video so people can pay attention. But I wanted to put that in here very specifically because the company, Idaho, told me that this re removes uh, vinyl chloride. According to pure water, some are removed by reverse osmosis, okay? So 
I don't want to mislead anybody whatsoever into thinking that, oh my God, this is going to make it perfect. Just to give you this as an idea, there is some vinyl chloride in your tap water, in your well water. There is a perfect, there, there is an acceptable amount, okay? According to, I know, the government, the EPA, whatever it would be. If you live near, if you live in a metropolitan area, you live near a gas station, anything like that, vinyl chlorides are in the air. They're very easily dissolvable. They do wind up seeping into the groundwater, which basically, guys, is where we get everything. So don't think you're ever going to get down to 0 0.0000000. You're already drinking some of it. The idea is just drink as little as possible. So let me get back to this thing. All right, I got to do this fast because this thing sucks the water really quick. So if I turn it on, there you go. If you watch the picture, you'll see it come down. But here is my drinking water. out drained this pitcher. Now if you can see it coming out running through the pitcher. It was a little difficult trying to do this in video at the same time here. Alright so that's about drain the pitcher. Okay so first use of this thing and you saw I had, what, half a pitcher or whatever it was. I got a half a glass. That water looks clear. I don't have a tester, but... No taste. That tastes like clean water. There's the non-potable water out of this. Okay, and you can see there's still a yellow tinge to it. This thing did quite well, okay? I will say this, it does not charge fast, okay? It takes about three and a half hours to charge this battery off of AC power. They say it takes about five to 10 hours to char charge off of solar. And of course, that's gonna mean whatever solar panel you have, whatever ever would be. Word to the wise, because I learned this real quick. You cannot have it hooked up to the charging and use it at the same time. You have to disconnect the charge and then it will work, okay? So, a couple of things, eh, that I'm not super thrilled about. There's always negatives to it. If I can get back here to show you this, okay? I hate these little rubber plugs over USB ports. That's your charging port. I know that thing will fall off very soon, okay? In fact, I'm having a hard time. There it is. Got it back in. Okay. Those things never last. The other thing on the back here, this cover that goes over where you're drinking water and your wastewater, if you will, is, is a rubber seal. If it was me, I would have made this with a hard plastic seal so it goes in better uh, because... Again, I know that's going to fall off eventually as well, too. The rubber stuff never works. Uh, other than that, this thing is a... Let me get back up here. Other than that, this thing is a very good unit. Uh, like I said at the beginning, this will do seven gallons of water on a charge. So that is significantly more than a Berkey. All right? The downside is... Uh, you got to charge it, okay? So you're going to have to have some sort of power source. Good to have. The upside is this is a whole hell of a lot less expensive than a Berkey and does more. As far as I know, this is the only portable reverse osmosis system in existence at this point. You know somebody else is going to come out and make the same thing. Now, you can get an RO system for your house or whatever it is, but if you got a bug out, if you're going camping, if you're 
need water somewhere, okay? My pond is not hooked up to my plumbing system in the house. If I need drinking water, there's a solution. Uh, I'm still trying to get a hold of Alex at Idaho, Idaho and see if there's a discount code on this. Right now it's $2.99. I know they have a discount code on their website, which I'll put the link below for 50 bucks, makes it $2.49. I'm trying to see if I can get it a little better. If I can, I'll put that below. If I can't, $2.49 is still a steal for this thing. Now, there's that part. Yes, we are giving one of these away. I'm crossing my fingers. Somebody up there in Ohio is the one that wins this. But again, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I have the second unit, so this will be shipped by me. Okay. Uh, and so I'm going to stick to the continental U.S. Or I'm sorry, the U.S. and Canada uh, for shipping one of these. Okay, so Alaska, Hawaii, you guys, Canada, you guys are involved too. Sorry, Europe, it's not going to work because it's not the same plugs and the whole nine yards for it. So you'd have to get one specifically that's made for Europe, and I don't even know if they have one like that. In order to win this, and I will, because we're giving it away on Saturday night's live stream, okay? In order to win this, you must be present on the Saturday night live stream. You must put in the comment below this video and this video only where you live and your favorite wild bird. How about that one? Springtime, the birds are coming out, so we'll talk about birds on this one. You must be present to win on Saturday night's live stream. It's 9 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, I will draw the winner off the random comment picker, and whoever is there will have three minutes to reply that they are there, and then I will ship this out via UPS the following day or two. Uh, get that out, depends on when the UPS guy comes out here, because I'm not driving all the way to Knoxville to go to the UPS store. Uh, but last thing as a reminder on this one there is no short list i don't do whatsapp i don't do instagram don't listen to any of those comments that are below from scammers that say you won it's not how this works the only way you are going to win is comment on this video by following the instructions which you have to do otherwise it's not a valid entry and by being on saturday night's live stream so saturday night we will be giving away a water purifier and a EcoFlow Delta Mini. So it should be a very fun live stream. We'll see y'all then. Bing ball out.